In 2019, the Metals and Engineering in Daba celebrates five years. Since inception, the event has blazed a trail focusing on the deeper issues affecting the sector. At its core, the objective remains bringing stakeholders in the metals and engineering sector in particular and manufacturing in general together to discuss and resolve challenges of common interest, to coalesce with business, labor and government with the goal of forging an even stronger partnership among them. To ensure that stewardship of the sector is placed front and foremost on the national agenda and ensuring that the sector contributes to economic growth at its fullest potential. I would like to invite you to talking about and the discussion that we, we are having today must be rooted on how do we defend the current capacity for manufacturing, how do we champion industrialization, how do we create jobs, how do we grow the economy. But it's without a marker that the state is serious about ensuring that the natural resource base of the country uh, is utilized domestically, that more value is added, more jobs are created, uh, more industrial innovation takes place before these products are exported. CIFSA, with its great track record of promoting a sustainable metals and engineering sector, brings important stakeholders together to engage discuss and participate around issues that will define the future of the industry. Responsible stewardship of the economy, a constructive partnership involving government, business and labor, the fight against corruption, skills, industrial strategy, the fourth industrial revolution, free trade, logistics costs and production efficiency and business competitiveness. These will all be under the spotlight to chart a way forward for an industry facing major headwinds, yet has shown time and time again its great resilience. The Indaba has constantly attracted the most influential policymakers, ranging from ministers, director generals, and policy specialists. In addition, the best thinkers and strategists from industry, economists, thought leaders and influencers from civil society, business and labor. Let us seize the opportunity as black and white people and as a governing and opposition parties to finally bring, bring liberation, peace and economic stability and growth to our country. This year, the agenda for the Indaba is the most exciting yet. The Metals and Engineering in Daba and its partners and sponsors approach this mammoth task with their eyes wide open. There are no quick fixes. There is only the hard work of bringing people and organizations together for tough conversations. Sifsa intends to nurture the Indaba considerably in the years to come for the betterment of the industry overall and position it as a place where solutions are found. Finally, I would like to thank all of you, the delegates, all the exhibitors, all our sponsors, and our partner, the IDC.